breaking in the moment. It was uh, widely expected to come down sooner or later. We didn't know how. Now we do. I want to put up this tweet here from Fox 4 Dallas reporter Stephen Dial saying breaking. Texas federal judge blocks FDA approval of an abortion pill that's been on the market for 20 plus years. Trump appointed judge Matthew Kismerick asked lawyers weeks ago if a judge had ever done something like this and the answer was no. I want to put this uh, back up here, the graphic, as we continue to follow this story here. This is significant. So uh, you are probably familiar with this abortion pill. It's known as mifepristone. It's part of a two-drug regimen known as medication abortion, both their mifepristone uh, and then the second drug in the regimen, misoprostol. So what we now know is a federal judge in Texas late today ordered a hold on the U.S. approval of the abortion medication, mifepristone, throwing into question access to the nation's most common method of abortion in a ruling that waved aside decades of scientific approval. Now, remember, uh, in the wake uh, of Roe v. Wade being overturned by the Supreme Court just last June, this has become the majority way women in the country get an abortion via these pills, this medication abortion. That is what it is known as. Now, this judge, Judge Kazmarek, saying that the first drug in that regimen, mifepristone, should not have been approved by the FDA at all. This has been on the market, what, for some now 20 years. The abortion drug has been widely used since the year 2000, and there is essentially no precedent for a lone judge overruling the medical decisions of the FDA. Mifepristone, like I said, it's one of two drugs used for medication abortions in the U.S., along with misoprostol, which is used to treat other medical conditions. So this is what we now know. The judge, Judge Kaczmarek, uh, he is a Trump administration appointee in Amarillo, Texas. That's the Fifth Circuit. Signed an injunction directing the FDA to stay Mifepristone's approval while a lawsuit challenging the safety and approval of the drug continues. The immediate impact of the ruling was not clear, including how quickly access to the abortion pill might be curtailed. Now, the judge didn't go as far as the plaintiffs wanted by withdrawing or suspending the approvals of chemical abortion drugs and removing them from the list of approved drugs, but he put a, quote, stay or hold on approval of the drug. So his ruling does not immediately go into effect as he gives now the federal government, uh, who is fighting this, seven days to appeal. So this is a quite significant here, uh, and we just wanted to make sure we got that in. Breaking news there uh, on the next battle that is being waged uh, on abortion rights uh, for those opponents uh, of abortion as well. Uh, this judge making a pretty significant ruling there in the Fifth Circuit in Texas.